zero to 500 subscribers in just three weeks with no camera, no external lighting, no experience in video editing and not even having a proper chair. But still I managed to reach this magic number in just three weeks. And in case if you are a new YouTube channel and if you want to know how did I manage to reach this magic number, then stay tuned. I'm going to discuss the step-by-step -step process that I followed so that you can learn and grow faster as well. Stay tuned until the end of the video because at the end, I'm going to give you a pro tip and that pro tip really helped me get views on the videos that were not functioning that well before. So please stay tuned until the end of the video. So I don't have any fancy camera. I don't have any fancy mic. I don't even have a fancy setup with me. But everything that you see around, I'm using my phone. I'm using my AirPods. I am using a normal laptop, HP laptop that I have. And with all this, I managed to create a YouTube channel and I managed to reach 500 subscribers in just three weeks. So basically, the whole idea is that you do not need to wait for a fancy setup and spend so much money initially. Initially, what is important is to get started. So that is the first tip. Don't think so much. Don't overthink about what should be my topic, what, what area I need to get into. First thing which is important is get started. Just use your phone and a normal setup and get started with whatever you want to talk about. Do a little research on your topic and get started. Then the second tip that I'm going to give you is with every video that you're going to post, you're going to learn a lot of things. And with that learning, it will help you to make your next video much better and the next video even better and so on. So with every video, there's going to be a lot and lots of learning that, that is going to come. And what you need to do is you need to make sure you learn at least one new skill for every video that you post. Now that is going to help you create videos faster and quicker and with much better quality. So that's the second tip. And the third tip is that you need to create a system. Now you need to know what system works best for you. When can you do the video recording? When can you do video editing? Do you want to create videos in batches on the weekends and then publish it during the week and edit them? Or do you want to create one video and edit it and publish it? So you need to, you know, create a system that works better for you. For example, in my case, I started creating one video, started editing that video and publishing that. Then I realized that I need to record more videos. So I changed my system a bit and then I now record videos mostly on the weekends or in batches and then publish them. But one uh, logic that I followed is before publishing one video, I made sure that my inventory already has one pre-recorded video. What it needs is only editing. So you need to make sure that your inventory is always full and only publish a video when you have a recorded video so that, you know, things move faster. So that's another tip for you, which is make sure you have a right inventory every time you publish a video. Then the fourth tip is, yes, you need to understand your niche. You need to understand your audience, but that is not going to happen in the first couple of videos. And the more you're going to publish the videos, you're going to realize what audience is really liking and what kind of feedback are you getting. So it's a gradual process and you, are you will still discover what area you want to talk about, what area really interests you and it doesn't interest you. But have patience. It's a gradual process and slowly, slowly you will understand what your audience in your niche is actually looking for. And then you make that niche as your topic and you start creating videos on that. Also, one more tip, you can have a little bigger niche. You don't need to have one specific niche for your YouTube channel so that you can reach a bigger audience. 
but it is very important for you to narrow down on what you want to do on this channel so that your YouTube algorithm can recognize what your channel is all about and then distribute your videos accordingly. Then the fifth tip is that you need to make sure uh, that you do some research on YouTube every day. So my logic is before I go to sleep every day, at least 30 minutes, I spend on doing some research. Basically, either I'll do a research on how algorithm works, how SEO works, what kind of new topics in my niche people are searching on, what are Google trends, everything. So every day I learned a new skill and then that skill I implemented in my next video. So every day 30 minutes you need to spend on learning what YouTube is. So my next seventh tip is consistency. Basically you need to figure out how many videos that you can publish in a week. Yes everybody says publishing one video a week is a magic number and you should go ahead and do that. I understand publishing one video in a week can get too much because you have to research, you have to uh, shoot, you have to edit and then you have to publish but that is the consistency that you need and if you ask me how many videos I am publishing in a week, well I am publishing three videos in a week without fail. Yes, that's my magic number because if I like to do something then I go all in. I don't think left and right, I don't think more work or less work. If I like it, I'm all in. So I still feel three videos in a week is less and I can still do four videos. And trust me guys, I'm doing all this by myself. Research, the shooting, the content creation, the editing, the learning, everything is happening by myself right now. But still I managed to publish three videos in a week because I'm loving what I'm doing and more importantly I'm loving when I can help people with the knowledge that I have so that gives me a different high that's why I can do three videos in a week you choose your magic number but what is important is to stay consistent with that magic number of yours now the eighth tip is that engage with your audience read your audience and engage with them. Every video that you publish, there will be comments that you get. Now you need to make sure you reply to each and every comment. Now when you're going to read every comment and you're going to reply to every comment, you will really understand whether your video is actually coming across in a right way to your audience or not. If they are still asking you basic questions which you have already spoken about in the video then that means there is an issue and in case if they are asking you additional questions then you can understand maybe this topic could have been covered in a video or you can create a new video with that topic. But every comment will give you an idea how your video is going and even if there is a comment that says that it's a great video that gives you a motivation that you are on a right track. So it's very important to read each and every comment and engage with your audience. And most importantly, sometimes I also get suggestions from my audience that create a video on this topic. And when I get such suggestions and that's in my niche, I take it seriously and I create a video on that topic and I upload it. So it is going to help you in any which way. So go ahead and start engaging with your audience right now. And the next tip that I'm going to give you which is a very very important tip as well is be very determined. I know it's not easy. I know it's very tough. At the start you will not see any progress but that is how the whole system works. You know if you start a business you start a business from a small place slowly three or four people will know in your vicinity or some neighborhoods will know and then slowly slowly the whole you know you will widen your horizon and more people will start to know about your business and that is directly proportional to the amount of work you have put in. 
So similarly, it's the same case with video. Once you start your YouTube channel, there are only close people and friends that will know and slowly the word will spread across, the more people will be reached and you will get to know about uh, how your video is performing and the people will reach out to you and watch your videos. So it takes time. Consider YouTube as your business and lastly, enjoy what you're doing. At the end, you should enjoy the process. You should enjoy the dip graph. You should enjoy the high rise in the graph. See the whole idea of whatever we are doing, we are achieving, the work that we are doing, the money that we want to earn, the travels that we want to do. The whole idea is that you want to be happy and that happiness is very important. So you need to enjoy the process. You need to see how much you've learned, how far have you come and just trust in the process. If you are giving your hundred percent, then there is nothing that can stop you. YouTube algorithm is nothing that can stop you because you are true to yourself. You know you have given your hundred percent and you know you're going in the right direction. If not today, tomorrow you will get a result. But you have to be consistent and you have to be determined and you have to enjoy the process for your sake. And when you are happy, your happiness shows on your videos and your audiences are happy and they get the right message. So stay happy while you're doing the thing that you wanted to do. So what is a pro tip? This is one thing that everybody talks about having the right thumbnail and having a right title. Yes, it is important to have a right thumbnail and a right title in your video. But the pro tip is that what you're going to do, you're going to publish your video, you're going to monitor the video progress for next two days, and you're going to monitor the click through rate, the graph that you have, and say if it is below 5% and the graph is going down instead of going up, then that means you do not have a right thumbnail. In your mind, it was a right thumbnail, but the audience are not liking it. And that's why they are not clicking through your video. So what you will do, you will create a new thumbnail. You will go ahead and edit your video and upload a new thumbnail. The same goes with the title as well. If you think the message is not going right, the video is not progressing the way you wanted it to go, change the title. Keep playing with the title and the thumbnail of your video and then see the progress. Then see the graph is going upwards or not. If you still don't see that, update the thumbnail once again. And then there will be a time when you will have a right thumbnail. So if you're a new YouTube channel and if you think it's very difficult to reach this number, trust me, it is not. All you need is a system in place, some consistency, and there you go. If you have that determination, nothing can stop you. So continue doing what you do. And I wish and I hope all the best to each one of you so that you reach your magic number of 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours as soon as possible. My best wishes are always with you. Thank you. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel so that I keep getting motivated to create more such videos and help you in my small little way. Thank you so much. I wish you all a great, great day ahead. I am Goodreads and see you again.